Hey, this is David for Big Bits. And in this video, we are going to look at a brand new indicator that uh, we've came up with here. This was actually suggested by someone who was following the channel and uh, contacted me uh, through uh, the YouTube comments and also through Discord. So this is called the Binance Bitcoin Alt Ratio Difference. And I'll explain what that means in just a moment. But the reason I'm sharing this one is mainly because it has some pretty interesting use of strings to manipulate the securities and by that I mean we're able to change what security we're looking at by using strings and I'll show this to you how it works in just a moment but I want to show you first the end result here so with this indicator and uh, what's happening here we are looking at the Ethereum Bitcoin alt ratio difference right now and we have the ability to select different securities from the drop down here and you'll see how that works on the uh, code side in just a moment so if I change it to Litecoin it should take a moment and update yes there we go that takes a little while to pull the information and then we also have the ability to use a custom altcoin and these are all traded on Binance and they have to have uh, a Bitcoin pair and also a USDT pair and I'll explain that in just a moment I'm going to leave it uh, back on Ethereum okay and now we're going to pull up the source code and I'll kind of explain what the difference uh, what the alt ratio difference is here so uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, actual calculation the alt difference is just the price in USDT of the altcoin you have selected so this would be the ethereum usdt price divided by its price versus bitcoin so that uh, is a way to calculate what the price would be if it were priced in terms of uh, its ratio versus bitcoin it's uh it's not entirely effective for really trying to find any trends it might be good for some sort of arbitrage opportunities something like that I can't really say the uh, differences are pretty minimal though uh, but just to show you what we're talking about let's pull up let me pull my calculator back over to the side let's pull up the Ethereum USDT pair on Binance all right it's at uh, 159.92 and let's look at it on Binance here all right, so we would take our 159.92, and then we would divide that by the current price in Bitcoin, 0 0.018369, and that gives it its Bitcoin comparative price of 8,705.97. So let's go back to the Bitcoin USDT price. And it's 8,714. So you kind of get an idea of what the uh, indicator is really intended to do. Just kind of see if the ratios versus Bitcoin or USDT are kind of out of whack. And there might be some sort of opportunity in there somewhere. And this was something someone suggested. So uh, if you have any questions on how to actually use this, I don't entirely know. But uh, they requested it, so... That's what we're doing here. And of course, if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. And uh, of course, I'm going to show you at the end where you can get the code for this as well. Now, uh, let's go to the actual important part for the development series. Now that I've shown you uh, the end result of what we're doing here and also kind of the key parts of how it actually works as far as you know the result you see on the screen. What we're really interested in in this video, however, is our options that we're using. We're working with strings. I mean, the title of the video is Strings and uh, Manipulating Securities, essentially. So how does that work? Well, we have a drop down for our alt, and you'll notice it's uh, pre-defined options here in this array are Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP, and it defaults to the Ethereum in the drop down. You notice that when we pulled it up originally, those are the three options there. Now, we also have a custom alt, which is default values XLM, but you could change this if you wanted to just by typing in a different uh, alt here. Now, uh, before the indicator will actually use that, you have to check that you are using a custom 
Alt here, and then you can type that in. So you see it changed the calculation to account for uh, Stellar here. Let's change it back to Ethereum, and let's actually take a look at this. So one of the first things I did was I came up with a function that's going to manipulate the strings to give us whatever the alt is, uh, its security, the alt security versus USDT. So we have to, uh, when we're calling the securities, we have to tell it the exchange we're working with, and then we have to give it the trading pair, which would be whatever alt you enter in, and for us to get the USDT price, uh, we also have to follow that up with USDT. And we also made another function, which were covered in previous videos, so if you haven't seen those, please go back and check out in the series how to do that. But we also have the ones where we can just insert the alt into the Binance Bitcoin pair. So all we really have to do is tell it what alt we're working with, and it's going to give us the correct string to look up in our security. Now, you can see uh, here, the first thing we do though, we have to have the Bitcoin price versus USDT because we use that to compare. And since the whole, third, the whole focus of this indicator is to compare the alt ratios difference to uh, Bitcoin versus USDT, we have to have that one price no matter what and uh, we're all using the same resolution on all these. So to get our custom alt or our selected alt that we have in the dropdown, uh, we have to call the security function again. We want to get its close for the resolution, but we're checking to see if we're using a custom. If we aren't using the custom, we use the alt that's defined in that first alt input. Otherwise, we're going to, well, also, Notice that we're calling the alt USD function, so it's going to return that string from up here with whatever alt string we place in there. So the default option is F. It's going to call this function. It's going to place Ethereum in here, and you're going to return Binance colon ETH USDT. All right, but if it is custom, then it's going to call that same function, but it's going to use the custom alt that you typed in. So it's a really easy way to kind of manipulate the strings and also manipulate the securities. Uh, I'm not sure where it's going to be too useful for you uh, in, in this, but uh, if you're wanting to quickly cycle through altcoins like this, that might be a good way to do it instead of you know having to type in all the altcoins that you're wanting to work with. Now, uh, we also do the same thing for the Bitcoin price. We check to see if we were using a custom one or not and we called the correct function based on whether it was a custom input or not. Now that we had those we were able to run our calculation. I already showed you how that worked but the only other option we had was whether we wanted to show a, a dollar based difference or a percentage based difference and really the only other thing we did was we calculated that percentage difference and we just only showed whichever one was actually selected. So Really, that's all there is. If you want to get a hold of the source code, uh, you can always check out my GitHub, but uh, probably the best way for most of you is to actually check out my profile on TradingView, where you can go to the scripts page, and you can actually see this indicator here. I just published it uh, earlier, and you can see a little bit more information about it and also have access to the code. Alternatively, you can also just go ahead and add it to your chart. It may not be indexed quite yet, Ah, no, it's not quite indexed in the public library just yet. So that'll show up in just a, a little while, but uh, it'll show up like this in the public library soon enough. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment or uh, reach out to me on social media. All the links for these things are available in the description of the video. I also have a brand new tool that I've been using for my website uh, that is posting the transcript of all of these videos uh, along with an embedded video on my website, uh, on the blog. So um, if you want to see the transcript and you weren't on YouTube for whatever reason, you could do that there. Uh, you can also contact me through the website, many different other things. So a lot of great things coming up. But uh, yeah, if you like the video, please leave a like. That helps a lot. And so does subscribing, of course. Uh, so if you're down there checking out the description, looking for those other links or my TradingView profile, uh, please go ahead and like or subscribe. But otherwise, that's it for right now. Thank you and have a nice day.